All right, now Dr. Cho is going to demonstrate how to help your students be more comfortable with looking for information quickly and not reading every word. You can do this by asking your students to find answers to specific questions. That way, they know they need to focus on specific information and getting it fast. Be sure to tell your students that you are going to time them and that the fastest student wins. Okay, everyone, today we are going to practice looking for specific information. The purpose of what we'll do isn't for you to read each word carefully and completely today. Instead, I want you to look for the answers to questions that I'm going to ask you. This is a different type of reading and is a useful way to find information when you need it fast. The winner will be the student who finds the answer first. We'll be timing this, so you need to find the answer in five seconds if you can. The reading we'll practice with is in our statistics textbook. Here is the first question I want you to consider. What are the steps for learning from data? Now, turn to page five and go and find the answer. The first student to find the answer in the textbook wins. You have to tell us exactly where the answer is located. So here, Dr. Cho is training students on how to look quickly over information and find what they need. Students will benefit from this greatly, especially when they are studying readings that they looked at before but need to find specifics from, or when they are preparing for a class and need to get answers to questions, or when students don't need to read a whole article and only need some information, they can scan for it. Keep in mind that scanning for specific information is different from skimming. When you skim a text, you are looking for an overview of what the text is about, what the main ideas are. Usually, you are looking at pictures or tables, reading headings, and reading the first sentence of each paragraph. That skill is also useful for students. If they need to get the overall main idea of a text quickly, skimming is another useful skill for them. Okay, we have looked at specific ways that you can help students scan a text for specific information, and we talked briefly about how skimming and scanning are different. Now you can think to yourself if this might be useful for your students in your own courses.